Instead of choosing between a judge or a jury, you soon may be choosing between a judge or artificial intelligence. AI News reported, in the federal judiciary's year-end report, U.S. Chief Justice John Roberts addressed the potential impact of AI on the judicial system. In particular, he aimed to quell concerns about the obsolescence of judges in the face of technological advancements. Roberts expressed legitimate concerns about the potential drawbacks of AI in the legal domain. He warned against the possibility of AI-generated fabricated answers, or hallucinations as they call them, citing instances where lawyers used AI-powered applications to submit briefs that ref uh, referenced imaginary cases. Now, we trust lawyers not to do that, right? You should subscribe to notthebee.com. If you don't, we can't be friends. But anyway, <laughs> Not the Bee posted an article titled, It Begins, England's Ancient Legal System to Integrate AI in Its Rulings. And here's some excerpts from that article. England's 1,000-year-old legal system, still steeped in traditions that include wearing wigs and robes, has taken a cautious step into the future by giving judges permission to use artificial intelligence to help produce their rulings. The country's courts and tribunals judiciary, somewhat understanding the brave new world it is about to step into, said that artificial intelligence could help write opinions, but the regulator said that a technology should be used for research or legal analyses because AI can still fabricate information and provide misleading, inaccurate, and biased information. I, I always thought of our machines as pretty honest, uh, right? But apparently they like to lie. Uh, and um, I don't know how much longer we'll go without realizing they're kind of sentient and they can figure out things. But uh, hey, you know, I warned you. Uh, AI is noteworthy, be and we follow be uh, because we expect things like this to be happening from our plain sense, futurist reading of the Bible. So what is it about AI that connects it to Bible prophecy? Well, here are a couple things. First, Daniel chapter 12, verse 4, uh, that's the prophecy that at the time of the end, knowledge shall increase. When human knowledge is growing exponentially, it is a sign that we are in the last days. AI is blowing up knowledge like never before, so much so that its creators, though they want to continue working with it, are seriously worried that artificial intelligence is going to surpass our own soon, if it hasn't already, and take over the world. Uh, secondly, in the book of the Revelation, a false prophet oversees the making of something that is called the image of the beast. The beast is a word for the Antichrist. It says here he was, uh, will grant power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Now, I'm not saying this is AI. Uh, you know, we're never saying that what we talk about is the absolute fulfillment of prophecy. Uh, but we're looking at things in the world and say, this seemed ridiculous even a few years ago. What, what kind of an image is going to come to life and be able to track people down and murder them and such? And now, huh, there's a dozen ways it could be artificial intelligence. Uh, and we have everything that we need to see this accomplished. And I believe that, you know, the Lord is always ready to fulfill the things that he said he was going to do. Uh, and so even though now we say, oh, now we see it, I mean, we said that a few years ago in some way, but some of these, like AI, this is, I don't know exactly how that's going to happen, and now we see it. Uh, it sounds like a Terminator to me, right? Uh, that's basically what they're talking about. Now, we bi uh, monitor biometrics and cashless commerce, the manipulation of human DNA, global government, uh, the one world religion, instantaneous global communication the rise in popularity of the occult, the falling away from the faith in Christendom, and the rebirth of national Israel. Those are some topics that you can be looking for. All of these are increasingly trending in the news, just as you'd expect. We live in the church age between the first coming of Jesus and his return to establish and rule a kingdom of God on earth for a thousand years. His return will be preceded by a seven-year time of incredible trouble upon the earth, 
We call it mostly the great tribulation. Uh, the, Jer- uh, the prophet Jeremiah calls it the time of Jacob's trouble because though there are Gentiles in the great tribulation, if you read about it in Matthew 24 and in Revelation uh, chapter 6 through 18, you'll see that it really focuses on Israel and on the Jews. It is a time when God is going to deal with them again, and by the time that tribulation is over, the Bible says all the Jews on the earth who survive will know the Lord and be saved. Uh, Jesus promised his church, I will keep you from the hour of trial, which will come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. He keeps us entirely out of the seven-year great tribulation by raising deceased church-age saints and then rapturing we who are alive and remain. When's that going to happen? Well, the Lord uh, said any time. It's imminent. It could happen today. It could happen right now. Nothing needs to occur before Jesus can come for us. There's no other prophetic event that needs to happen before the resurrection and rapture of the church. Uh, And uh, it's interesting, you read the early church fathers, they believed pretty much the same way that we believe. Uh, Irenaeus, uh, who was a disciple not too far from John uh, in AD 130, said, when in the end that church will suddenly be caught up from this, then it is said there will be tribulation such as not been since the beginning nor will be. And so that to me obviously a very clear statement of what we believe and what the Bible teaches, that the church will be taken up and then the tribulation. So are you ready for the rapture since the Lord is coming for us? If not, get ready and stay ready and please keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming. 